Hey guys, it's Connor here with Chrome Designs, and thank you for watching this video. Now, today I'm going to be teaching you some After Effects uh, color correction. I've seen it used, well, not after, yeah, I have seen it used a few times. It's quite effective, it's quite nice. Uh, a few highlights, kind of like the dark sections have kind of been covered by a bit of a blue, and the light sections. Well, you can see here what it looks like. It looks like this. So anyway, I'm going to... You want to have your clip or whatever you're going to be editing on in After Effects. So, this is what I had originally, and this is what I originally worked with. I was put to fit up to 100% there. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some curves. So, go to Effect, Color Correction, and Curves. Now, you just want to create a basic um, contrast, like brightness and contrast, to so just Drag this up a, the, the top point up and then the bottom point down. So it just creates like an S shape. Gives it a bit more contrast. Then go down to green, the red, sorry. And just do pretty much exactly the same. So like an S shape. And then go down to green. And again, do roughly the same. Maybe not on such a big scale, but not so much there. So that's very, that's kind of, that's kind of faint in the green one. Then on blue, you want to do exactly the same but opposite. So drag it down here and up in the corner there. Is that opposite? Yeah, that is opposite, isn't it? Yeah, that is opposite, I think. Anyway, that is what you should have. You should have something like this. You can manipulate the uh, points as well. Uh, just to just find what suits you best. In the middle there, then up down trying to find a good point to work with uh, that is looking all right so now you want to can duplicate this layer so just hit control D on your keyboard go down to effect and go to color correction view and saturation and you just want to desaturate it so the top layer is black and white so now when that's black and white you want to change the mode if you hit F4 on the keyboard it will bring up the mode and then I change it to hard light now, as you see there, that creates it basically makes it more the darker bits more darker and effectively. So that's what it was like before. Now, if that's a bit too strong, you can hit T on your keyboard, brings up the opacity option, and just lower it down to about 75, and that should do the trick. Looks pretty good. Now, that is the base of the color correction. But I'm going to do add one more thing, which is going to hide these for a sec. On the top layer, I'm going to go to Effect Generate and Four Color Gradient. And that go to Positioning Colors. I'm just going to change all the colors to a rough sort of blue. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go to the blue section. Maybe we try and mix it up a bit so they're not all exactly the same, like like that. And that is looking good. You can maybe just increase the blend a bit so it blends a bit more. Go up about 300. And the opacity on a lower down quite a bit. To a good 15 odd percent. So if you see there, it just kind of brightens it up a little bit and adds. It kind of gives it a purpley sort of look. I can't really explain it. But that's what it's like before. It kind of lightens the dark of its up just a tad as well. But it's, it's still got it, something there. But anyway, that's about it from me, guys. I don't know why I got smear typed in there. That's about it from me. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. Uh, more than welcome to use this, of course. That's why I'm making the tutorial. So that is about it. I hope you like it. Uh, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.